Hey everyone, this is uh, Joanne with My Celiac Journey. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of posts and stuff and questions being asked about, uh, you know, when we get glutened, um, you know, how long before we actually, you know, feel it. Uh, also, maybe how long uh, the symptoms will last. Um, and, and the truth of that is that there's no right or wrong answer. It's going to it's going to depend on your own body. You know, a lot of us, you know, some of us can actually have neurological uh, symptoms. Some of us can have GI symptoms. We can have a combination of both. Um, you know, it could, it's, it's just, there's no, there's no right or wrong answer here. You know, it's just going to depend on what your body, uh, or how your body handles it and stuff. So, um, you know, for me, um, Time frame, you know, if I get glutened, uh, I know within the first 10, 15 minutes. Um, and uh, some, you know, some of my symptoms, and it's going to depend on the severity of the gluten, you know, how much gluten I actually ingested. Uh, that could be, you know, um, depending on how much it was, I could have some symptoms, I could have some others that, uh, you know, magnify and get worse and, and you know, and then I can have others that, that can last for a while. So, and I'll go over a little bit about them. But um, if I'm lightly glutened, uh, you know, I always fill it within 10 to 15 minutes. Um, you know, I, I kind of, um, I start getting a lot of indigestion and pain, like in my chest area. Um, you know, I'll, um, I could get headaches. Uh, I can get, um, I get a lot of like trap gas. I, I, they're like bubbles, you know, they just kind of like run around in your stomach. You can hear them, you know, it's, it's kind of crazy, but, um, you know, I suffer from a lot of, uh, the GI tract. Uh, I also, you know, like I said, I can get headaches. Um, I get dizzy, um, brain fog, uh, you know, and, and I really, I, I bloat. I, I mean, I, I'll look like I'm six months pregnant and, um, you know, something, now, depending on the severity of or how much gluten I've taken in, you know, I could I could be vomiting or diarrhea, and you know, mixed in with all that, along with brain fog and uh, you know, body aches, nerve pain. Um, so it really just depends on how much I've taken in. But usually, it's the GI. I might have a headache. I, I do get brain fog, but uh, brain, brain sorry brain fog. And, uh, I also find that my anxiety really starts to kick in because I'm like pissed. I'm like, you know, if, if I, I could feel it coming on and I'm like, I just get really mad and, you know, I have some anxiety cause I know it's not going to be a fun night. Um, normally if it's a light glutening, uh, usually 24 hours, I'll have issues with my GI tract. Uh, you know, and that, like I said, could vary. It could be just like indigestion and gas, trapped gas. Um, but if, if it's a lot of gluten that I've taken in, then, you know, I could suffer from the, the diarrhea, vomiting, all that kind of stuff from 24 to 48 hours. Uh, I find normally my GI tract problems uh, and symptoms will last usually a day or two. Um, but my, um, some of my other symptoms, like neurological, like I may have headaches, brain fog, um, the, the nerve pain, the joint pain, uh, you know, that, that can last for weeks, if not like I'm talking a month or a month, little over a month for me now. Um, and that, and that, I, and I know that as soon as I get gluten up, that's why I get so frustrated and irritated. My anxiety goes up because I know I'm in for, you know, who, you know, at least a few days of not really leaving my house, but then, you know, I have the whole joint pain and, and nerve pain and, and so on and so forth for weeks to come. So, uh, usually my anxiety gets up pretty high at the, at, at the onset of being gluten because, um, yeah, it's no fun, <laughs> but, um, a few things that I, I do, if I do get glutened, uh, I immediately start drinking as much water as I can pound. I just constantly for days, you know, I'll just keep pounding, pounding water so that I can flush my system. Uh, sometimes for the indigestion and stuff, uh, I'll do, uh, I have a mixture of uh, apple cider vinegar, a little bit of raw honey and some water, and I'll drink that throughout the day as well. That helps me with indigestion and stuff, and I have a video on that. You guys can watch that. Um... And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I, I'm a big believer in bone broth. You know, when, 
when I get glutened, you know, I, I do the fluids as much. I kind of go easy on the foods and I just really try to just, uh, you know, take in lots of fluids and uh, bone broth because it's very, very good for you. Uh, and it's light, so it's not like going to irritate your stomach or anything. Um, you know, so I flush my system with water as much, much as I can take in. Uh, for symptoms like my indigestion and stuff, I do the apple cider vinegar, water, and honey. And, uh, you know, I do the bone broth, uh, you know, in between when I, when I start to feel a little hungry. Um, I also take, uh, I'm, I'm religious with my, my celiac vitamins and probiotics and stuff like that. So uh, that's to help keep my nutrition up and stuff while I get through it. Uh, I have heard of others that take um, um, charcoal. And I have not yet personally taken that myself, uh, but I've heard others that say that, you know, it, it works great. It's charcoal tabs that you, or tablets or capsules or something that you can order online. Um, but that's what I find to really work for me. Um, I will be um, putting a few more videos on here about different types of uh, subject matter and stuff. I hope you guys... Uh, one quick thing also uh, for the gas, when the gas is really trapped and, and hurting me, uh, I, I usually will resort to uh, gas -X. Uh It seems to help me. So um, so I hope you guys got something out of this. And, uh, you know, like and subscribe. And you can always follow me on Facebook as well. And, uh, again, I will be uh, adding some more videos out there. I have a lot of different videos on my Celiac channel on YouTube, so you can like and subscribe to that and check out all the stuff that I'm doing. And, again, I hope you guys got something out of that. And until next time.